Welcome everybody to the next video in our programming series, Introduction to a Teleop Program. So what is Teleop? Well, Teleop is the minute and a half time period of robot control in First Tech Challenge. And it consists of driving your robot around with a remote control or a gamepad in order to complete specific tasks. And when you complete these tasks, you earn points for your lines. The three parts that a teleop code generally consists of are declaration of hardware, a loop to run when the robot runs, and procedures and methods linked to the gamepad input. There are a couple basic components of your robot that you need to know before starting to code, such as a DC motor, which is shown on the right. Uh, these motors are used as driving equipment for the robot. Uh, servos, which you can also see the picture, is motors that uh, can spin in a ro rotation and it gives you feedback and you're able to control the rotation. Uh, and also the gamepad, which is uh, a remote control which is connected to the phone that sends signals to the robots. And the controller takes valuable input data in so you can record and you can record it. So now time to go to the code. Okay, so this is the basic layout of a basic teleop program. Uh, to start it off, you have this at teleop here which lets the program know that you're programming a teleop. And then you, you put the name, which is the name of the program, and then the group, which is the folder, which is tutorial over here. And uh, in this area, right above here, right above the override, you this is where you declare your variables. Uh, in, and then in init, public void init, you, this is where you put, um, all the initializations of your variables and um, in public void loop is where the meat of your code is going to go. And over here is where you would declare your variables and your different hardware, which normally would consist of DC motors and servos. So I'm going to declare four DC motors, two in the front, two in the back. So I just type in DC motor. And then I give them a name. So let's say left front, right front. And then just for organization purposes, I'll do another line for the back. So right now I've declared all the DC motors and later on we'll initialize them. But right now they're set into the program. And next I'll do some servos, which normally you would have a claw or something like that. So I'll declare a claw. So I'll just type in servo and then give it a name, claw. And so I've declared all the necessary hardware for DC motors and the servos. And next we'll move on to the initialization process. So now we're gonna move on to the initialization process, which essentially what that does is it takes the just a variable kind of word like left front, right front, and gives it like actual meaning on the robot. So as you can see here, we assigned a left front to hardware map dot git DC motor dot class, and then we'll, we can give it a name. And this name will show up in the more physical like hardware aspects of it. So I'll just give it the same name, left front. So now this variable left front, is assigned to an actual motor on the robot. And then we can just copy all of this. And you, could, in theory, you could just do that for every single one. It's the same thing, but you would just have a different name and a different name for the variable. Okay, so to the next step you need to take is to actually control the motors with the gamepad. So here is the sample um, code that you would need. Uh, basically, if you want to control the left front motor, you have to set its power, and then you have to limit the range to negative one to one, one being the maximum speed and negative one being the minimum speed, well, or going into reverse. And then uh, you want the left stick Y to control the left side, 
and you want the right stick Y to control the right side. So you can do the right front motor. Oh, sorry about that. To control, you can use the right front motor and the right stick Y controls the right front motor. And you can do the same for the, um, the rear motors as well. So like the left rear can be controlled by the left stick as well. And then the same thing for the right. Okay, so servos are a little bit different than the DC motors. What you have to do for a servo is you have to use an if else statement. So uh, to start it off, you can do if gamepad two dot whatever, you, uh, you can use A, B, X, Y. I'm gonna use A for now. And you can set the position of the claw when clicked A to 0.5. And then you have for the else statement, you can set the claw position to one. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. In the, um, and uh, we will come out with another video next week, Intro to Autonomous. And stay tuned for a lot more videos.